Hey everyone! This is the first video in a series about self-love that I'm super excited about. And I'm convinced that self-love is the foundation of all healthy choice and it's the root of healing. So, why is it so hard for us to love ourselves? Why do we, you know, when someone says, well, just love yourself, we have no clue how to do it. So first I want to define what love is to me. So love to me means just to deeply value something or someone. If you love something, if you value it, you treat it well, right? You have well wishes for it. So why is it so hard for us to turn that light of love onto ourselves? Well, I'm going to tell you. So I believe that we were taught from a very young age to hate ourselves, to criticize ourselves, and it's part of the fabric of our culture in order to keep a semblance of order so that we um, go in alignment and along with authority. Um, now this was passed on to us by very well-meaning people, our parents, teachers, uh, religious leaders, law enforcement, all kinds of, I mean, it's in the fabric of our culture. And it's just this system of punishment and reward. And what it says is basically, what we internalize is, in order to receive love from these authority figures, which equals survival, I must be good. And in order to be good, I must receive punishment. And it's that punishment, that external motivation that keeps me in line and helps me survive, right? This is what we learn as children. So once our authority figures are no longer physically in our lives, we learn to have that punishment and that discipline come from inside of us. And we begin even to equate the punishment and the pain with love because we're taught that this is for your own good, right? And we see that it gets us love and approval and helps us survive. So we've internalized this pattern that in order to be successful in life, we must put pain upon ourselves. We must be very critical of ourselves in order to be good. So if you have had a childhood that is full of overt abuse, that inner voice is going to be tenfold. It's going to be very cruel and very harsh. But even if you haven't, even if you've had a normal upbringing, um, you're still, you can't help but be part of that cultural system. You are still affected by it. And so we end up talking to ourselves in ways that we might consider abusive if we were to say it to someone else, right? Or, or we might do things. Um, so for example, we might say to ourselves, you know, you stupid idiot, you're such a failure. Why did you do that? What's wrong with you, right? We say these things to ourselves. Or we might not respect our own limitations. We might push ourselves or we might, um, you know, not respect our own needs. We might um, just neglect ourselves um, if, for the sake of duty or doing the right thing. Uh, so this just becomes a pattern and we think that it's good and right. Um, but what we don't realize is that there's such a huge price to pay for this. And the price is that we are repeatedly traumatizing ourselves to the point where um, in order to find relief, we have addictions, we go into depression, anxiety, display aggression, have relational conflict, um, just feel so ungrounded and confused and overwhelmed all the time, and even develop physical illnesses because we're not caring for ourselves. So there's a huge price to pay for this, but it helps us be contained in this system. So it makes sense that even the concept of self-love is so threatening to the system, right? Because if we truly value and love ourselves, we might not go along with the system sometimes. We might say, wait a minute, 
that that status quo harms me or I don't want to be a cookie cutter version that's not who I am or what I love to do. So we might buck the system at times if we actually truly value and love ourselves. So it makes sense as threatening and other people perpetuate the system um, just kind of blindly because they don't, they think, well, it's just the status quo. I don't rock the boat. This is the way it's always been done. This is, you know, normal. This is, this is uh, the homeostasis. Don't, don't disrupt it, right? You hear the airplane um, and so it, it, it makes sense that it's threatening and it can even feel threatening to us because it's it's the way things have always been done so I think the first step is just to be able to question this idea that harming and punishing ourselves is good for us just being able to question it and be open to self-love, to practicing it, to experimenting with it. And if you're like me, you were taught that self-love is selfish, right? That if you love yourself, you're going to become a hedonist and not care about anybody else. And I can tell you that that's a lie. But again, don't take my word for it. I would encourage you to experiment, to test this out for yourself. And if you try practicing self-love for a week and you become this awful ogre, then by all means go back to practicing self-hate. Um, and again, I just challenge you to try this experiment. So this is what I'm proposing to you. That for the next week that you repeatedly ask yourself, what would someone who loves themselves do in this situation that's in front of me right now? So you ask yourself that repeatedly. What would someone who truly values themselves do here? And I believe that because you are asking the right question, the answer will come very intuitively and clearly to you. Um, and credit to Teal Swan for this incredibly life-changing question. So if you were asking the question, what should I do? You will get all kinds of voices from all your socialized, domesticated um, input that, that you've gotten throughout your life. And there will be conflicting messages. You should do this. No, you shouldn't. You should do that. Wait a minute, right? Uh, and it would feel very confusing and overwhelming. And I don't know what to do. And I just want to do the right thing because I just want to be good so that I can get love and I can survive, right? And it, feel, it would feel very desperate. But try asking yourself instead, what would someone who loves themselves do in this situation? And I believe that the answer will be different in every situation. You know, there, it might say, you know, say no, set a boundary, let yourself rest, or I would love to do this. Yes, I will do this in this moment because I have the energy and I enjoy it and I love this person, I value them. Um, you'll find that the answer will be different in every moment but it will be clear to you. And so once you get this answer, follow through with it and see what happens. And just try this for a week, test it out, and let me know how it goes for you. And in the next video, I will let you know my experience with asking myself this question and what the results have been for me.